how to send emails using sendgrid hello guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing amazing so today i'm going to show you how you can send emails all on automation using sendgrid and it's very easy and it's uh, you know gonna be a step-to-step -step guide so before any delay let's get to the video so first of all what you have to do is open sendgrid.com on your browser and this is the site that will open up now from here you can see it's an it's a good looking website but uh, you have different options contact us sign in but start for free so what we're going to do today is you you know just click for start for free and uh, it will redirect you to uh, signing up a new account page and you know you have to add in your details here your email id and stuff like that so that you have an account and that's how you will be able to access all other features so i'm just gonna add my you know my details so i'm gonna add my details real quick and i'll get back to you guys so as you can see guys i have already signed in and my account has been created and here you can see i have named it ella green and here is my dashboard and this is is the thing that you know this is the page that i landed on and it says welcome ella to get up and running quickly please follow the steps outlined below so it's asking me to you know add in some details about my business and everything so that they will be able to create a, and you know send my automated emails and you know create something for me so here as you can see these are the options that are not available to me right now because i haven't even created a sender or anything so first i will just go in here and create a single sender and you know it will help me you know access all these features okay so when i clicked on create a single sender this is what opened up create a sender you're required to include your contact information including a physical mailing address inside every promotional email you send in order to comply with any anti-spam laws such as cn spam and sazzle you'll find replacement tags for this information and you know everything so first of all i have to provide a name and that is ella green and i have to provide an email address and you know if it's related to my name and or if it's related to my company then it's good if not then you know it's just fine okay for the email address i will just simply add in my own email address that i use for my work and everything so i will just you know quickly add it okay so reply to who am i sending this email to so i will just you know attempting to send from a free email okay so it, they're also saying that if you i should be you know sent from a domain email like you know from my company and gmail.com it would be more good but i'm just you know sending it from my own personal account so i'll just leave it like that for now and reply to who am i sending to so i will just you know add an another email address okay so after that you know company address company address you know just write in street something and something street six you know one sky building after that company address city i will just add in my city real quick I select state so i'm not in us right now so obviously i don't have to select a state select country select country and zip code it's not necessary so i will just add in um, some nickname okay close the center has been created from ella green from this email and reply to this email and address and nickname and if it's verified or not if it's not verified right now and the actions that i can take with it so everyone's here so okay so what we're gonna do now is we're going to create an automation just uh go into this marketing and uh, you know the drag down and here it says automation so the automation is basically the automated emails that you can send to all the sellers that you have already put in all the details of the you know e all the emails that you have already put in you can send those emails directly for example if it's about an update or if it's about just you know login or if it's about you know keep okay so the second thing that you have to do is create some automation so automations are basically an automated email that you get whenever uh, you contact company or something that uh, hello thank you for contacting us and we're gonna get back to you soon or our person is gonna get in contact with you real soon or something like that these are the emails that are automated whenever you email something to a company or you know send a message to a company you get this message or get this email it is an automated reply no person is doing that they have you know just created an automation and whenever you contact them it uh, gets sent automatically so this is what automation is all about you now company can get automations for its employees you know at the end of every month like good work or something like that you know it can be a sale information it can be a you know advertising thing so the automations can be anything so here we are going to create our first automation so how to create your first automation you can just you know click this button so for select creating an automation start with a pre-built welcome automation or select a custom to build your own so you can also select from a you know welcome automation that they have already created or you can build your custom i'm just gonna get in the custom one and you select that option so here it says that what is the name of this automation you can you know untitled automation or you can when will your contacts enter the automation and when will your contacts leave the automation you can uh you know choose all these things it has all the options here so you can create one according to the need of your business or need of 
of your own so when you come here in the welcome if you select this one here it will give you some templates some already designed stuff that you can choose from and you know you can it will be pretty much easy for you to create something that has already been created here it says edit automation that that one was uh, you know it will give you a whole thing for you know the previous one gave you all the right and all the freedom to you know make something of your own here you also have freedom but here you have a template that you can you know work on like uh what is the name of this automation the united welcome series it has already given me that so this is how you can uh you know create an automation automation options if you want to set live if you want to duplicate this you can also do that after creating everything you just click on save okay so now if you come here you can single sense that we have already created then you have you can go into the context from here and here you can add all the context at once and uh, all the email will be sent to them directly you don't have to add all the contacts manually one by one always you can also have you know custom fields that you can do you can create a new custom field that will allow, allow you to store data about your recipients such as gender or geography you can use this data to create targeted segments or personalized content to better engage your audience so basically what happens is if you want to if it is something that is only related to ladies so custom fields will help you uh, you know field out or you know extract all the ladies from your employees or your persons that are receiving your emails and you can already uh, you can only send this email to ladies or you can also you know create barrier based on anything that has uh, provided by them and now you have also sign up forms here uh, if you want to add unsubscribe groups you can also come in here and you know allow receiving to opt out of select types of content you send this is also an option here so if you want to design an email uh, you know a custom design uh, something that is really elevates the whole email experience for the people who uh, are receiving your emails you can come here and design a email so create an email design or send grid email designs when you come here you can see that SendGrid has also some email designs that you can you know edit or work on modern restaurant newsletter so this is how uh, this is a real estate newsletter like if you have a real estate company you can use this newsletter and you know uh, you can edit it and you make it something of your own and you know send it as an email to your recipients and everything short employee newsletter so these are all the things that you can work on and you can design uh, on your own you also can add the images if you know you can choose images from google you can also upload images and this is your email designs the designs that you have created when you create one it will come up here so here are the stats option here is the overview of your stats stats is important because when you are sending emails to a large group of people you cannot you know uh, manually go in and check what is happening and you know if the emails are being sent what is the response like so this is an option for you this gives you all the statistics like if you have any request if you have unique opens uh, you, if you have uh, how many clicks you have how many people opened your uh, email and how many requests you had if which ones are delivered which one bounced back which are the unsubscribers what are the spam reports if anyone you know spammed uh, your email if someone unsubscribed your, to your email then you will see how much is that uh, you know which person is that and what happened basically and why did they did that you can also you know if they added and you know a reason for doing that you will also see it here so sub user stats sub user compatible you know comparison geographical email client devices these are the all of, uh, options that you have under the stats section so this is you can use really uh well for your if you're managing a large group of people or, you know a very big company if you come into the activity here it will also uh, direct you to the activity that has been happening to your emails on your emails so you can also you know get, find a needle in haystack from the activity you can search for for a single email that you are searching you just don't have to go and search for it manually you can just type in the email address okay so if you're searching for your specific uh, some specific employee of yours you can just type in their email address here and their office email address here and you can you know you will just search and you will just get them and you can uh, email them privately or if you want something you know you want to say to them only so this is how you uh, this works this activity feed you know it says find a needle in the haystack that's what its purpose is if you go into the sub suppressions you can also uh, get how many people have blocked you spammed you how many emails you bounced and uh, global unsubscribers why did they unsubscribe and you know all the unsubscribers that you had so if you go into the settings here you can also have a lot of options here account details api keys ip mail and etc etc the another thing that i want to show is email api so if you click here this is dynamic template is this is integration guide if you just open the dynamic template here so in email api this is a uh, basically where you can create a code or something th so that the, you only select a group of people that you want to send a specific email to for example if you send email to all of your employees and all of the people
people who have subscribed or all the, of the, your buyers or anything so that's your general email if you want to create something you know a team or something that only you know and if you want to send your email only to your employees you can create a team here in the dynamic templates and it will you know just get sent to your employees only it won't be sent to your stockholders it won't be sent to your buyers or it won't be sent to general audience or it won't get out if it will only be sent to the people that are added in that team or and that is your employee so if you want to create your first dynamic template you can just click here name the template name it a la team and you know create it and then you can add all the employees of yours in here and this is how it works so you know add it duplicate delete so this is how it works so and you know this is a basically a coding you can add in a program it requires a program it requires a whole code and something so that's very technical and i'm not gonna get into the details of that but this is what basically it does if you're running a business or something then it's really helpful for you okay so the another thing that i want to give you uh, an overview on is if you go into this account details so here is your account detail here you can um, you know change all your um, things and you know edit your profile whenever you want to and the thing about the billing here is right now you're using a program and you haven't added in a payment measure or anything but you can add it later as well so what i want is to you to take a look at their pricing plans we have started for free but if you want essentials it you know you can it elevates the cost elevates as much the recipients you want if you want a hundred thousand emails per month then uh, you know it comes to 34.95 dollars per month estimated and here are the things that you will get in this program if you choose this and here is a pro and it costs around 1.5 million if only if you have a very big brand or something you need this kind of you know recipients otherwise you don't really uh, want to get this plan because you know it's just a waste for you to have uh, these many recipients as option but these are the things that you can you know uh, get with this you can uh, see for yourself really you can thoroughly and you can see which plan suits you best this the premier plan allows you to have even more uh, subscribers even more recipients so this is all for today's video i hope you found it helpful keep watching my content and until next video take care bye bye